Good evening, everyone, and welcome to DXB Today. It's such a pleasure to see you all and to be with the wonderful Faris and the delightful Dua. How are you doing, guys? Did you make that rhyme on purpose? I d did it rhyme? Uh, well, mine did. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I was thinking about myself. <laughs> this is the first time we've been together for a very long time. I know, it has yeah. been. It's been two seasons. It has, it has. Well, we're definitely going to have a catch up, but first, let's see what's coming up on the show. Ash went down to Dubai Design Week to check out all the things that you can check out across the weekend. Cyril Zamet, design consultant and strategic advisor, joins us in the studio. And I made some big plans, some life-size plans. And the co-founder of Untold Festival, Eddie Shoji, reveals exclusive details about the lineup at the festival. Plus, we are getting very involved with the Dubai Fitness Challenge. You know we have a fear of missing out. So we're putting Mr. Lane Redmond to the test. He has no idea that he's actually gonna be getting his workout in right here in the studio. That's right, Lane. I think there's gonna be some exercising, there's gonna be some sweating, there's gonna be some cardio. I think there might be some electromagnetic shocks. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> that's going a bit too far, mate. I don't think you're, you're going a bit too extra far. Now. That's not going to happen. It is. Yeah. Would you? It mean? Actually is. Yeah. yeah. But we'll tell you more later. I'm not used to this new format. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what makes it all the more fun. But it's all about design on today's show. And uh, I think something I learned recently is that because I used to be like, design is not really for me. I'm not really into art. I'm not really into fashion. But just the day-to-day -day things we do in our lives can count as design. So me, for example, I've got rabbits. I've yes. got, they've got a cage and I turned it into a table that they can go into underwoods. That's design. It is design and it's very clever design as well because you can make a little track for them and they can do a little assault course and stuff like that, right? Yeah, if they're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but quite frankly, aren't we just in the best city for design? Like Dubai itself, the skyline looks like design. So it makes absolute sense that we host Dubai Design Week here every year, which has been here since 2015. And we have the founder in studio as well. Indeed. That's right. But we also have a tech expert in the studio. That's you. Oh, okay. How does technology and design like coming together, do you think? I think there's a massive fusion. So if you go down to the Louvre in Abu Dhabi, they've got AI and um, Internet of Things infused into everything that the museum has to offer. So everything you touch, the whole kind of museum is curated in a way that technology leads, through, leads you through your experience. So especially in the UAE, incredible. Wonderful, that's mm -hmm. fantastic, man. I've never actually been to the uh, museum yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to going even more now. Right. Uh, seeing that, because I've been into design for a very long time, so uh, yeah, nice one, dear. Ooh. Cool, cool. So, who is our guest co-host for today? I've heard she is fantastic and got a lot to do with design. Let's find out who it is. Hi guys, Astrid Le Suisse here, art consultant contributing to Dubai's growing presence as a leading cultural and arts hub. See you in the studio. Yes, Astrid will be joining us right here in the hot seat in just a little bit. But before that, Ash went down to Dubai Design Week, the region's largest design event, to take a look at some of the highlights that should not be missed. Take a look at this. Dubai Design Week has evolved so much since its inception in 2015. It is now the region's largest design event with several installations and programs for both design professionals and the public. Khadija, being the Senior Vice President of Dubai Design District, how would you say D3 is giving a platform for local artists? Yeah. First, Dubai Design District is home to a global ecosystem of design, talent, and businesses, from established brands to newcomers, as well as even students, as you see them around. We offer world-class infrastructure designed to meet needs of the creative community. This event connects a global, regional, and local design talent, including many of D3 own creatives, and it helps them to expand their reach, you know, find key audiences and stakeholders uh, around. This year, we're really excited to be welcoming audiences from every walks of life and ages. Um, our highlights include over eight exhibitions, exploring everything from graphic design to new innovative materials. We also have over 35 large-scale design installations that uh, visitors can explore. We also have over 60 workshops for all ages. So Majid Fatem Lifestyle is very proud to bring uh, two brands to participate for the first time at Downtown Design. 
CB2, the contemporary American uh, design forward furniture brand, presenting their statement pieces, and Poltrona Frau and Chicotti, the century old Italian brand that is known for its uh, heritage and its craftsmanship. Also, we've seen a uh, a boom in the real estate uh, industry here in Dubai and in the region, and uh, a move to really create comfortable spaces for you to um, invite uh, people and live. So what you're looking at right here is the Japanese tea house. Uh, we are architects. We come from Mitsubishi Shisho Design, uh, an office in Japan. And uh, we're trying to use tea as a message to allow people to converse and share ideas. And the idea that we're using here is uh, to say that food waste can be a potential building material. So what you're looking at here, the black parts that you see, it's all made from green tea. Green tea is something that represents uh, Japan. Um, this is my first time in D3, my first time in Dubai, Dubai in fact. And my experience here has been perfect. I've met people from different countries, uh, people, people from different backgrounds. Uh, and this Dubai Design Week has been a great opportunity to really share ideas from people all over the world. Natalie, I'm very excited to know about this installation because I wasn't sure is it a garden? Is it a parking lot? Because downstairs you have cars parked inside. So tell us a little bit about the idea behind this installation. So my idea was to um, to kind of hack these spaces. You no, know, like hack this parking stairway, not very pretty spaces, and then create a garden on top. And using you know like airspace, it belongs to no one. So it is it is our commons. So the idea is to create a garden on top of it, like the garden we have here, and experience the city from a different perspective. Dubai Design Week is an incredible platform for pioneers, emerging and established designers alike. And although every installation is unique in its own right, environmentalism and sustainability seems to be at the core of the event. Ash always gets to have all the fun. But don't fret, um, Dubai Design Week is on this weekend at D3, so make your way down there. I definitely will be as well. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Now, our co-host for today is an art consultant aspiring to nurture talent and make art accessible through inclusive platforms in the city. With an international exposure to art campaigns and curating exhibitions, she brings her European experience to Dubai's growing prominence and being a leading hub of arts and culture in the city. Please welcome Astrid to the show. Hi, it's an Astrid. honor and a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Now, I want to know what is your house like? design-wise. <laughs> so I actually have started my own personal collection and uh, well I'll invite you sometime to come and see the artworks. I'll give you a special tour. Nice. I can imagine <laughs> it just being really nice, eclectic and really yes. cool bits. Artists from all around the world. It is actually very eclectic in terms of nationalities, in terms of, sort of techniques and styles. Um, yeah, there's a whole narrative actually and I think it really represents also my personality and what really resonates with my sensibilities because as you know art is all about that, right? It's what connects with you personally. So. Exactly, because you're, uh, I want to ask you specifically about art when it comes to interior design. What yeah. things should people take into account? And obviously it depends on personal taste, but what mistakes do you think people make when it comes to decorating their houses? Uh, well, you know, you have like a very fine line between art for art's sake and art uh, for decor. Uh, and the main difference, I think, lies in the purpose and the intention. So actually, in a lot of projects, we see art as an afterthought. You know, it's like the last thing left, the last minute, and then the question pops, what budget left do we have, you know? So I so think- So do you think the furniture should be centered around the artwork? I think it's a fusion. It's a, it's again, it's a dialogue between art and design. In essence, art and design are really intertwined and complement each other. And I think we should really consider it to, you know, narrate uh, like a, a yeah, like a narration for uh, viewers to feel it's more enjoyable, more livable. Uh, there's more visual interest, you know. First the painting, then the bed. 
<laughs> yeah, it has to be embedded, you know, in the project itself, like from the beginning, like to really be thought as part of the original concept. And this is something we see a lot, actually, in the hospitality industry. Uh, you know, like uh, art in hotels is a growing trend, uh, but uh, it usually serves as an addition to the existing design, you know. So uh, the importance is to think of art before, you know, the project is started. So you can really, you know, create this uh, fusion and this cohesive uh, atmosphere. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, me too. So Astrid, I think most people can be a little bit overwhelmed by art because it sounds and feels sometimes very expensive and like a, a language that people don't really understand if they haven't grown up in an artistic kind of family or household. Um, what advice would you give people to kind of discover their own tastes when it comes to art? Well, you're absolutely right, Dua. I do believe that art can feel sometimes a bit intimidating mm. for many different reasons. And you mentioned one, but also maybe because art is not you know, an actual science. It's not like math where you use logic and reason to actually get to the right answer. Because again, there is no right or wrong answer in art. And this is the beauty of it. There's only your own personal interpretation. So you can never go wrong. And I think, well, one advice would be to uh, take art with curiosity. You know, like to, um, you know, like be open, uh, have that open mindedness and also maybe attend workshops. We are actually now uh, in uh, like during the week of Dubai Design Week. So I think this is a great opportunity to go and, you know, like attend workshops, you know, to uh, break the boundaries and connect with the art, you know, like to learn about the technique and, uh, and trust your taste, trust your instincts, because again, there's no right or wrong answer and you won't go wrong. It's your own personal taste. So you don't have to like every piece of art and every movement, you know, there's only your own. Uh, but it, it can get quite expensive though, can't it? Ah. Really? You know what I mean? Because especially what you were saying before in terms of thinking about what you're doing before yeah. you actually curate your space, yeah. uh, because then you, you're going to want to change it again and then buy more stuff and stuff like that. But So where would you advise someone that, would get some, that wants to be a bit artistic, uh, but not... Yeah like spend an arm, a leg and a foot. Not break the bank. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you would be surprised, you know, how many talents you may have as, as neighbors, you know, like living and working from their studio right next to you. And, you know, Dubai has got like such a vibrant scene with amazing artists to discover. So actually you can, you know, go around and see like exhibitions in galleries, more and more galleries now come and settle down in Dubai, you know, because it is becoming this new arts hub. So I don't think that, well, you know, when it comes to uh, pricing artworks, like the value you give to an artwork, again, is your value. It's like how much you're willing to spend to get that piece of art that really resonates with you. Yeah, but Astrid, usually when you go to a gallery, I don't go and be like, I think this is worth about 200 dirhams. They usually have their own price. So I'm actually interested <laughs> to know how people price art, because as you say, there are no right answers. There are no wrong answers. How does the every person who wants to get into art know when they're being scammed, basically? Uh, that's a, yeah, that's a tricky one, <laughs> Ferris. But uh, actually, again, when it comes to like pricing, I think it you know like gets like a lot of criteria. Uh, so you have to look at the background of the artist, what he went through, uh, who is representing the artist. That will always increase you know the rate of the artist. And when you purchase an art piece, so you give it your personal value, but you want this piece to grow. You want the rate to grow. So you're making an investment. So you're purchasing a piece for yourself or your own personal collection, but you want this piece to actually grow with time, you know, like you want to see it as an investment. You're, you know, taking a risk to invest in this artist that you believe in, that, you know, you connect with. Well, I think it's definitely time to add more people to this design dance. <laughs> so we're going to do that very, very soon. But first, we're going to have a break. After the break, we are going to get into a conversation with Design Advisor Plus, reveal the full lineup at the Untold Universe. That's happening in February 2024. Stay tuned right here. <laughs> 